Hi coloring friends! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Coloring Outside the Book. That is the series I have on my channel where I take different things and color in on them or in them without using a coloring book. So um, just getting coloring outside of just books and into everyday life. So this month, since the weather is nicer out, it's May, I decided it would be fun to try to color a kite. So um, what I'm going to do, I couldn't find any pre-built kites to color that were just plain white um, that I could add my own design to. So I'm actually going to be building my own kite and then uh, drawing a design. I'm planning on tracing it out of one of my books and then coloring it. Um, and then at the end, hopefully, if it all works out, you'll get to see it being used too. So we'll see how it goes. I'm a little nervous. I've never built a kite before, so this is new for me, but it's going to be a fun adventure. Um, and I did use, I will link in my description, I watched a YouTube video, just a simple video uh, showing how to build a kite, so I will link that as well. Um, they used a garbage bag and, um, something else they did differently. So I'm changing it up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my supplies together and we will go forward. To make the kite, I am using two dowel rods that are a quarter inch round and 36 inches long a yard of nylon fabric, and some string. I'll be using these tulip fabric markers to draw and color my design on the nylon fabric. I'm going to keep one dowel rod the full 36 inches. The second one I have marked six inches in from the end, and I'm going to cut off that six inches and discard it. And then I'll be left with a shorter piece, which will be laid perpendicular to the long piece here and closer to the top third of the kite. All right, so I have my one stick trimmed shorter. Um, and then I marked uh, just a little more than six inches down on my long stick. And then I've marked right in the middle point of my shorter stick. I'm going to line those two lines up together and then I have my string here and I'm going to take the string and I'm just going to crisscross around this, uh, the intersecting point here and get it all wrapped together so it will stay in place. So we'll just secure that back here with my finger. And this is the part I'm the most nervous about making work properly. Um, and then once I'm done, once I have that all wrapped, I will be using a glue gun to uh, put over the string area just to solidify it to keep it held in place. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I'm just going to try to show a little bit here. I did get it going. Um, so you're just going to loop around and then you're going to pull it across the two like an X. And then I'm going to loop behind and then X the other way. And we're just going to go back and forth, um, looping that together so they're connected. And then we're going to go behind and loop this way and then behind and loop this way and then again behind and we'll X this way and I I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna do that a whole bunch of times so it's nice and held together tightly and then at the end, I'll, like I said, I'll put the glue on top to hold that string in place there. Okay, so I have it all wrapped. I've done it quite a few times. Um, and it wiggles just a little bit, but it's very hard to slide the two sticks. They're pretty well 
connected together now at this point. So I'm just going to take the string and we're going to just tie it off and then I will add the uh, just the hot glue to reinforce that a little bit. And then we will be ready to go on to the next part there. Okay, so at each point of the kite, I have taken a knife and just took out a little, you create a notch at the end of each one. It's hard to see there. There we go. Yep, so each point on the kite now has a notch on it. And then I'm going to start stringing the kite. So I will take my string and you start at one of your ends. I'm gonna start at the top point here. And we're just going to tie the string around and it's gonna fit right in that notch. Go ahead and tie that on. There we go. Double knot it here. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap that a couple times around that end. And then I'm gonna carry it straight across and I want it to be taut in between each uh, section of the kite. So I'm gonna go to the next point here and I'm going to loop it around first, I think. So we're going to go here and we're going to catch that notch there and then we're going to wrap it around and then I'll carry it on to the next point and then the next point and then finish back off around at the top here and tie it off and that is going to create the frame for the kite. So I have my kite frame laid out on one yard of nylon fabric. And I'm using the frame to show where I need to cut the nylon fabric to wrap around the kite. So I have my clear ruler here and I drew lines. Come in a little closer. I drew lines two inches out along all sides of the kite frame. So it goes over here. And then there's a two line mark over here. And then what I'll do is draw a straight line connecting the two lines on any side and then cut along that line. So here on this long side, you can very faintly see my line that I'm gonna cut. And that will allow me enough room to wrap the fabric over the string and then I will, the instructions I saw said to hot glue it down. I'm gonna see if I can try to stitch it down, but I'm not going to actually affix the fabric to the frame until after I've done the coloring portion. So let me go ahead and get that cut out and then I will show you what that looks like when it's all finished. As you can see, I have the nylon all cut out and trimmed and ready to go on the kite frame. Um, and I am ready to take the fabric then and trace on the design that I want to color onto the kite. I did, you won't be able to see it, I don't think, but I did draw light pencil lines on the inside of my frame so I know where to stop my design because I don't want to do the design on area that's going to be wrapped. Because this is white nylon fabric, it's very easy to see through. So what I'm going to do to get my design on the kite is I'm just going to overlap it over uh, whatever design I've chosen um, and I'm going to copy it on using a fabric marker. So you can see, you can very easily see those lines right through the kite. So I will trace on whatever design I uh, choose. I don't think I'm gonna show that process. I think I will just get it traced on and then I will show um, the coloring in of the design um, and then we'll show it getting all put together and hopefully hopefully it flying I have my pattern traced my pictures traced on each of the points of the kite 
I decided to do it that way. And I may in the middle do some lettering. I think I might try to put let's go fly a kite in the center of the kite. Um, but we'll work on that a little bit later once I have this all colored in. So the book that I use to trace these flowers, uh, the floral patterns on here, is this Just Add Color Mendy. Um, and uh, as you can see, the nylon, let me bring it a little closer. The nylon does bleed just a bit with the uh, marker. And it is fabric marker. I did look and see if these would work on nylon and it said they would on the website, but there's a touch of bleeding. So they're a little fuzzy looking, but you know what? It's a kite. It's going to be up in the air. It'll be okay. So I'm, I'm just fine with how it's turning out so far. Um, so I will be using the tulip rainbow fabric markers to color and, um, I think I will speed up the coloring portion it's just so this video isn't hours and hours long. Um, so let me get into coloring. I'll bring you in a little closer and we'll get this kite colored in.
So here's a quick look at the kite all colored in. I've added some uh, lettering with acrylic paint. And I'm just going to go in a little closer so you can kind of see a little bit of the detail here. So one thing with the nylon is it, the markers for sure, and even the paint to a certain extent bled quite a bit. And it wasn't even like at, on a coloring book with alcohol markers where you can kind of stay away from the line and it'll bleed up to it. It would actually run down the fibers of the cloth. Let me see. I'm sure you could see it a little bit in the video, but you can see here how it ran out and I tried uh, coloring more with lighter pressure. I tried, you know, the trick of staying away from the lines, you know, stopping before the line. Um, let's see if I can show a little bit of how the paint bled too. Yeah, see how the letters are just a little fuzzy around the edges. Um, but it's okay, you know, it's a kite. It's gonna be up in the air. Um, it's not as noticeable from a distance, uh, but I would note if you're going to try this out that um, to just to expect some bleeding because that, I don't know, maybe there's a way to avoid it coloring on nylon fabric, but I, I don't know it. So, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it attached to the frame and then I will show uh, getting the rest of the string attached and then hopefully we can get some video of the kite in action. Well, here she is all finished. I have the, I'm gonna come in a little closer so you can see. So I, you string one string going the long length of the kite, and then one string going the short length of the kite, and then you tie your longest bit of string right in the center, and that creates your um, part that you hold on to and release up as you fly the kite. Um, I did take it out for a little test run yesterday and it was not windy enough, so um, it didn't want to fly at all. It did spin in circles a whole lot, so I may have created a trick kite. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to try to get some shots of uh, it flying. I'm not making any promises. I'm not sure if it is going to fly. It may end up just being a decorative kite, but that's okay. Um, I had fun making it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing it come together. If you want to make one of your own, I know my demonstration of actually putting the kite together was limited, um, and I highly recommend checking out the video that I watched for instructions on actually building the kite if you want to go through that process. But it was definitely a lot of fun to color. It was a fun experiment. There was definitely some ups and downs to it. But um, overall, it was very enjoyable. And I'd like to say thank you for watching and coming along on the journey with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!